Hello again and welcome to another video guys. Today we are showing you progress one of our giveaway PC. Thank you to MSI and Corsair for their sponsorship for this build. It is certainly a big help, takes a lot of pressure off of me and hopefully you guys enjoy. Obviously with another video comes another chance for another entry in the giveaway guys. So just to get that extra entry, just leave a comment down below in the video. Now guys, I know you guys like to tell me how bad your PCs are and that, but leave a comment that's relevant to the video below. It's better for the feedback for my videos and also it is a random draw guys. So telling me the current PC you have is not going to help in any way. I have decided on a theme and some of you may like it, some of you might not, but I love doing PCs that are themed and I was inspired by this movie and as a long time World of Warcraft player, I had to go with the theme from the Warcraft movie. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm sure you guys who are PC enthusiasts can appreciate the work that goes into this and will enjoy a free computer. So our first major modified DIY feature of this PC is our own custom reservoir. Now I did say I will be liquid cooling this, so you guys are gonna enjoy this one. Firstly, cutting out some 15 millimeter acrylic to size, and then obviously shaping it up to the shape that we need, making sure that it fits in place, and now cutting up the top piece, which will pretty much keep all of the liquid in nice and tight so there are no leaks. As you can see here, cut to the same shape, same size, so that it fits perfect. Obviously lots of sanding to do, but there is no need to polish these edges. World of Warcraft is a pretty rustic and rugged movie, so I'm gonna try and keep it nice and rough, and it's just gonna make for a brilliant finish. So playing around with my CNC program, guys, this is how we're going to create the reservoir. Firstly, I'm choosing the material depth that I want to cut into the piece of acrylic. So I chose 10 millimeters, so it's going to cut and mill out 10 millimeters of material from my acrylic. Setting up my CNC machine and telling it which bit to use and then putting the CNC machine in place, ready for action. All I have to do is hit cut and then wait for the project to finish. Now this current project is going to take a while. That is because we've only just finished the CNC machine and we only have the one bit. Moving on to the second part of the reservoir, guys. Using some 15 millimeter thick acrylic, we have just used the jigsaw to cut it out and now we are using a rougher sandpaper just to remove those jigsaw blade marks and then finishing it off with a finer sandpaper. Once again, we do not have to polish the edges, guys. It's just gonna add to the effect. So now I'm cutting a long piece of acrylic. It's just three millimeter acrylic, just to go on the bottom of our PC. Now this will hold and help support this mid plate up in position. It simply slots in and fits in like so. Now for anyone here who has watched the Warcraft movie or who has played World of Warcraft, you guys know what the Dark Portal looks like. Now the Dark Portal is consumed with fell magic. It is a portal that was opened by the Guardian Mediv and he pretty much got consumed by fell magic and turned into a demon. So that's where the story comes from. Now this is what I'm trying to achieve here. This Dark Portal is actually going to be UV green liquid. Now as you can see here I have a piece of acrylic standing up vertically and that is going to be the dark portal. I'll be creating columns next to that and pretty much trying to make it look as similar, maybe a bit varied with my own sort of twist on it but very similar to what you see in this image here. Besides that guys, at the bottom of the steps in the dark portal Instead of having that concrete stone ground, I'm actually going to be having some cracks in the earth which the fell magic has been consumed into. Now, if you have watched the Warcraft movie, there is a scene in there where Medivh actually sucks the fell out of the orcs and the ground opens up and cracks up and it's glowing a bright white, bright green sort of color. Now, because I'm using this UV green liquid, I'm going to make these cracks come and appear through the ground and the UV green liquid is going to shine through. Now this is going to look awesome guys, so I really hope you guys enjoy. 
Now, unfortunately, we have run out of daylight, guys, so this is where we end progress one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a comment down below, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next progress update. Thanks, guys.